Good morning. We will pay attention to discount received from creditors. We received 20% discount on a debt of 400 rand. The debt is 100% and the total debt equals 400. So if we want to calculate the discount, it will be 20 divided by the 100 full debt times 100, 400 rand. We paid 400 rand after 20% discount was received. That means that the 400 rand is equal to 80% because we only paid 80% of the debt. If we want to calculate the discount, we will divide 20 by 80 to work out what is the discount. It is very important to determine whether the amount provided is the total debt or whether it's the amount paid. Mama Lori Traders paid 765 after 15% discount was allowed. That means the total debt is 100%, discount is 15, so the amount paid was 85% of the total debt. They gave us the amount paid, so 85% equals the 765 rand. The discount received is 15 divided by 85, so the one that we won divide by the one that we know, times 765, and that will give us 135 rand. The total debt is 900 the creditors will be decreased with the amount paid and the discount received so that the debt is cancelled and you don't owe any money more. The bank account is credited to decrease the money in the bank. Discount received is credited because the income increases on the credit side. Credit control is debited because liabilities decrease on the debit side. Bank is credited because assets decrease on the credit side and we've got less money in the bank. The source document is a check counterfoil and we will record this in the cash payments journal. For the discount, you will also debit creditors control because you want to re reduce your liabilities with 135 rand. Discount received is an income. Income will increase the profits and the owner will get more profits so the equity will increase. On 31 May, Mama Lori Traders issued a check to pay a debt of 765 after 15% discount was allowed. So the total debt equals 100% and they give us the total debt as 765. Discount is 15%, so the amount that's paid is 85% of the total debt. If we want to calculate the discount, the percentage that we want to know, 15 at the top, divided by the percentage that we know, 100 at the bottom, and that will give us 115 rand. If we want to work out what is the amount that we will pay, the amount that we want is 85, the one that we know is 100, so that will give us 650 rand. The creditors control has a credit balance of 765. We will debit the creditors control with the amount paid and the discount to reduce the total 765. Bank will be credited because the asset decreases on the credit side. Discount received will be credited because the income increases on the credit side. Creditors control is debited to decrease the liability. Bank is credited to decrease the assets. We will use a source document check counterfoil and we will record this in the cash payments journal. 
For the discount, the creditors will be debited again because we want to reduce the liabilities. Discount received is an income. Income increases profits, so equity will increase with 115 rand. When discount received is calculated, it is very important to determine whether the amount paid or the outstanding debt is provided to ensure that you do the correct calculation for the discount. The creditor's control account is debited to reduce the liability with the amount paid and the discount. Bank is credited to reduce the asset with the amount that was paid out of the bank. Discount received is credited to increase the income so that profits can increase.